All right, guys, we're back with a banger of a video. Today, we've got something new from Iceland, which I'm quite looking forward to. This is some, this is some good, good, good comfort food right here. So I hope they've gotten this right. We have classic chicken gravy and mash filled Yorkshire pudding. Let's have a closer look. New. Here is the serving suggestion, which is just, I'm guessing the product on a plate. It is 350 grams. Let's flip this over. Cooking takes quite a while. Fan 180, 50 minutes. Uh, basically stirred halfway through. That is quite a long time to cook. Admittedly, that is a long time to cook. Here's the ingredients for the folks that want them. We've got 37% gravy, 27% Yorkshire pudding, 24% mashed potato, and 11% chicken. There is the nutritional information for the folks that want it. 470 calories per meal. And finally, we get a little product blurb. Cooked Yorkshire pudding filled with cooked diced chicken in a gravy with vegetables and herbs and a creamy mashed potato. Oh, it does sound good, doesn't it? Right, I'm keen to I'm keen to get this cooking, so let's see what's in here. Because um, that's what we get. <laughs> For some reason, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. I don't know why. I mean, this is the size of the packaging, right? But it just looks kind of small. But it does look good. You wouldn't... It looks like, although it's... What was it? 11% chicken. It looks quite... Like it's quite a reasonable amount when you look... When you, you know, visually. Um, I just want to check. It didn't say... And remove the film. Just wanted to check that before. Of course, childproof packaging as usual. You've got to be kidding me. There we go. This is what we wanted to see. This is it. It does seem quite small, but still should be epic comfort comfort food as long as the flavors there it won't disappoint right enough talking i'm going to get this in the air fryer and i'll get back to you when we're ready for some eating right folks the cooking is done and there she is steaming out the air fryer let's have a quick closer look i'm, I'm not exactly loving what i see it seems it seems very dry. The gravy isn't. Uh, it's, it's, I expected it to be more liquid. I don't know if that makes sense. But this is what we have. Although it doesn't look as good as I had hoped, I can tell you my mouth sure is watering for it. So let's uh, crack in. I did stop halfway through and stir it, like they said. And at that halfway point, it was still partly frozen. But I just expected... It's like the gravy is, is kind of... Um, is gelatinous the word I'm looking for? Let's get a piece of this chicken. All the flavors there. That's definitely cooked all the way through. Chicken's a little rubbery texture, texture wise. Let's try this mash. I say creamy mash, but it also seems a bit dry by just by looking at it. it tastes okay though. It's not the creamiest mash I've ever had, but it does taste okay. The chicken's good, the mash is good. 
me try. I think this is a chunk of carrot. Yeah, that's a chunk of carrot. Mm, delicious piece of carrot, that. Right, let's try the Yorkshire pudding. Crispy. Come on. This is the crusty bit. Yep, that's crusty. <laughs> Let's try some out the base where it's been um, where it's been soaking in the juices. Mm, that is satisfying. Right, so let's try a little bit of um, everything together. We've got some chicken, we've got some Carrot, we've got some Yorkshire pudding, we've got some mash. Oh yeah. All the flavors there. I'm, I'm enjoying this, it is flavorful. It didn't look very appealing when it was cooked. And the gravy is a bit of a letdown. It's, um, yeah, just, it needs more gravy. You know, that's, that's kind of the only fault to this really, is it really does need more gravy. But that you could fix by, you know, adding some of your own, but you shouldn't have to do that, right? I am enjoying that though. That is, although it looks kind of small, it is a hearty meal. It's flavorful. I'm enjoying the Yorkshire pudding. I'm enjoying the mash. It, it, as I said, all the flavors that it needs is there. Just the... Um, Not sure what that was that I just ate. <laughs> Some other weird veg in here that I can't quite place. Um, as I was saying, all the flavor is there. Just the, the gravy is a bit of a letdown. Hmm. It is definitely, um, it's definitely worth trying. It's definitely worth trying. I, as I say, I am enjoying this. If I had to rate it, as I said, all the flavors are there. It's just the gravy that lets it down. So if I had to give it a rating, I'd go. Man, I am enjoying it. I'm gonna go for a solid eight out of 10 on this. If they fix the gravy issue, it could easily be a 10 out of 10. But I might be a little on the bias side with this because they, they have some of my favorite things jammed in here. But yeah, I think a solid eight out of 10 for this. I am quite enjoying it. It's definitely just the gravy that holds it back a little. But definitely worth it. Um, Hell's Bells. I can't even remember how much this cost. I'm pretty sure it was four pounds fifty. Was it? Th no, sorry, three pounds fifty. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong there, but I'm pretty sure it was three pounds fifty. Uh, if that is the case, <laughs> excellent value for money. Um, yeah, I'm 
completely blank on the price. I'm pretty sure it was 350. As I say, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Definitely worth a try. I'm definitely enjoying it. It is excellent comfort food. It's just the gravy that adds it down a little. With that said, I'm out. Catch you on the next one. Peace.